What's up guys, Tommy Bowyer here from Movie Rewind and Casualty is finally back on our screens with some brand new trailers. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Casualty is finally going to be back on our screens on the 2nd of January 2021. It will be Casualty Series 35, Episode 1, so a brand new series. And the episodes will be 40 minutes long instead of the usual 50 minutes long. That's due to all of the regulations that the COVID pandemic has had on TV programmes and filming. And speaking of COVID, that is going to be the main theme of Series 35 of Casualty. The first episode on the 2nd of January will be an episode dedicated to seeing how the emergency department coped during the COVID pandemic and then that will be a recurring theme throughout the series seeing how COVID affected emergency departments and how they are struggling to cope under the pressure. Now I'm very excited that Casualty is returning. Of course there was two trailers released this week. We had a Casualty Return trailer as well as a Casualty Christmas video so I'm going to discuss all of the spoilers that we can see in them. So if you don't like spoilers I would say you should just stop watching this video now, go outside and go for a jog or something. So anyway let's get into some of those spoilers. So it looks like several of the storylines which were prominent before Casualty took his hiatus are going to remain prominent when Casualty returns. It looks like Faith is finally going to discover her husband Lev's sexuality uh, and the fact that he has been sleeping with multiple men during the course of their marriage. Um, in the trailer Lev punches Dylan or of course we all know that Dylan has been harboring his own feelings for Faith uh, throughout the past couple of months and actually at one point during the trailer it looks like Dylan could be in some danger as an ambulance he, he is riding in gets knocked off the road and hangs precariously over the edge of a bridge. Now hopefully Dylan gets out alright if they kill off Dylan I don't think any Casualty fan will forgive the present production team because we all love Dylan and we don't want him to die. It also looks like that Ethan's going to find out that Phoenicia is pregnant with his child. We don't really know from the trailer how this storyline is is going to end or how Ethan is eventually going to take it who knows maybe Ethan and Phoenicia will move away together hopefully not however that is always a possibility we also see the introduction of a new paramedic character called Leon Cook who is billed as handsome charming and lovable I don't know why but the paramedics are always billed as charming and lovable for some reason he seems to be getting involved in a relationship with Connie Beecham's daughter, Grace. Emily Carey's returning to the role of Grace after a couple of years out. So I don't know how Connie's going to take that. Probably not too good. Other things we see in the trailer, of course, we see Connie and Jacob's romance continue to blossom. It's great to see that they've finally got back together. And we see some traditional casualty moments with explosions and accidents and things like that. So it looks like casualty is going to remain largely the same show even though that the social distancing is in place it looks like we're not going to lose anything from Casualty from that. Casualty also released a Christmas video which of course everyone was wondering why have they done this when they've just released a return video however everyone was shocked and really happy to see that Michael Stevenson is returning to the role of paramedic Ian Dean after about a year out of the role that's fantastic I really do miss Ian as a character and it's great to see him return however that does mean that there's going to be at least five paramedic characters so that's why I'm wondering if maybe Phoenicia's leaving maybe Lev's leaving to make room for new paramedics coming in because there just seems to be a bit overcrowding with the paramedics. Overall I found these trailers really exciting, it's just fantastic to see Casualty back on our screens and it looks like we're not going to lose anything, any of the quality from it due to the social distancing which is great. So thanks for watching guys, I hope that you found this video useful, please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future and are you happy that Casualty is back on screens? Comment down below anything about the latest trailer, maybe I missed out something which you think is important that everyone knows about so make sure to know. Also I'm planning to do a lot more Casualty content in 2021, maybe do uh, some additional videos besides just the reviews and the mini reviews that I do so hopefully you guys enjoy them and look out for them and I will see you in another one. See ya!